This is a bypass video for Boost, Motorola, Moto E5, and a couple other Androids. You can try it on a couple, but it's going to be the same process for the most part. So I've already bypassed this phone, so I don't want to really have to do it again. So I have just an image of Setup Wizard here. As you can see, I'm actually in my gallery. But you're going to go to Vision Settings. And then you want to turn on TalkBack. Once TalkBack turns on, the TalkBack tutorial should come up. And then from there, hold the volume up and down button on the side of the phone. And it will say, use shortcut. Hit yes. And then you want to swipe down and left. So once you got talk back on, you swipe down and left, and it says talk back settings. And then you scroll with two fingers, you scroll all the way down until you get to help and feedback. And then turn talk back off by holding volume up and down again. And then you have a YouTube video. Mind you, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi for all this, but you have a YouTube video, you press play. And you keep tapping the video and it opens up YouTube. Welcome to Switch Access. You swipe down, you get rid of the video. And then you go to the little person, terms and privacy policy. And then in the browser, you want to type in frpfile.com. Then you hit go. And then you want to press these three bars. Sorry, I had to pause the video. I had people bugging me. So when you're on frpfile.com, you're going to go to APK Bypass. And then there should be a list of APKs here. You want to download Google Account Manager, Android 6. It's the first one you want to download. I've already downloaded it. And then you want to download Bypass FRP APK 1.0. And then, as you can see in downloads, I already have them downloaded. You install the Google Account Manager, Android 6. And you have to check the unknown sources whenever you're prompted, but you install that. And then you download the Bypass FRP APK. And you install it. And then you hit Open. And there's three dots right here in the corner. You press them. It says browser sign in. And so it prompts you to sign into Google on the browser. So you'll sign in, right? You put your password in and whatnot. And then it will just kind of blank out. The app will blank out and it'll just go back to the previous screen right here. Once you do that, you're going to back out of everything that you're in all the way back to the setup wizard and then you're gonna hit get started and you'll go through the setup wizard you'll complete the setup wizard and then it'll say you must sign in to a previous owner of this device's account so then once you do that and it defaults you back to this screen restart the phone and go back through the setup wizard and complete it and the phone will be bypassed you're welcome